Hi everyone, it's Actuary Dude over here. Let's have a look at another question. So once again, I've um, done V of T and A of T, and I guess really the hardest part of any question like this is probably finding V of T or A of T, but once you've found the right thing, then you should be all good to go. Um, so it says the force of interest delta T is a function of time, and at any time T measured in years is given by all of that. So let's do part A. Calculate the accumulation at time t equals 10 of 500 pounds invested at time t equals 0. So we started at time t equals 0, we put in $500, left it in there for 10 t's, and uh, let's see, we'll find out what it's worth. So we're going to need to use this accumulation factor over here. So for a time period that's greater than 8, which is actually 10, we can sub 10 into this t over here and multiply it by our 500 pounds. So we got 500 times a of 10. And we um, we can find out 500 a of 10 will be equal to e to the 0 0.6 minus 0 0.08, which will be 0 0.52 overall. So I'll just I'll just note that down. 0.52. Okay, and that should give us our answer. So let's use Excel over here, and uh, I'll just bring it along and say equals 500 times exp.52 equals, there we go, 841.01. 841.01. And that's the answer to part A. Let's look at part B. Calculate the present value at time t equals 0 of a continuous payment stream at a rate of all that paid from t equals 10 to t equals 18. So I'm just going to note over here that the formula for the present value is equal to the integral between whatever time intervals, so we'll have 18 and 10, and we use rho of t multiplied by v of t, okay, dt. So let's find that one out. So we have that integral we're finding the present value is equal to between 10 and 18 and we know rho of t is 200 e to the point 1 t and v of t is well when it's, we're dealing with something above 8 so between 18 and 10 we're using this bit of v of t over here so we're saying e to the negative 0 0.06 t plus 0 0.08 okay so now all we have to do is solve that bit, and I'll just say it's best to simplify this bit up the top here, and don't try and find the integral of a function multiplied by another function and the integral of each or something. It doesn't quite work that way. Just simplify it. Um, okay, so we, what we can do is we can take out 200, and I'll still leave that between 18 and 10. e to the point 1t multiplied by e to the negative 0.06t plus 0.08. Well, that is... 0.1 minus 0 0.06 is 0 0.04 t, and we've still got that bit, plus 0 0.08 dt. The integral of all that is the whole thing divided by its derivative. So we can find it's e of 0 0.04 t plus 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.04 over there. That's between 18 and 10. We can take out 1 over 0 0.04 because we don't need it to be there the whole time. And we can sub 18, so that'll be e 0 0.04 times 18 plus 0 0.08 minus e to the 0 0.04 times 10 plus 0 0.08. All right, and let's just use Excel for that. So I'll Find that out, first bit, 200 divided by 0 0.04, it's going to be like 5,000, yep. Um, equals the exponential of 0 0.04 times 18 plus 0 0.08 is that. Equals the exponential of 0 0.04 times 10 plus 0 0.08 is that. So we're doing equals this 5,000 here to that bit multiplied by open brackets this bit e to all of that 
minus e to all of that. Oh, that's there. Close brackets, and there we have it. 3047.33. 3047.33. And there's your answers. That one there is the present value between 18 and 10 of the payments given. And this one here is the accumulation at time 10 of $500.